Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen. Welcome to Strolling Through Life. And today I'm gonna be talking about the zero waste swaps that I changed my mind about. We have 10 on this list. Let's start off with number one. The first swap I changed my mind about is bamboo toothbrushes. Now hear me out. I think bamboo toothbrushes are great. They do the job, they reduce your plastic consumption overall, and they totally work. However, I am just a fan of my electric toothbrush. I feel cleaner after I use it than using just a plain traditional toothbrush. It's an electronic device. There's more materials and resources that are needed to make it, but I already have it and I'm just gonna keep using it. And I just watched a video from Shelby from Shelbizzle, which I will link down below. And she was talking about how there are toothbrush heads that are made from bamboo, which is so cool. I didn't know that there were any that existed for my Sonicare toothbrush. So I am definitely gonna be looking into that and trying that out. And I will keep you updated on that to see how that works overall. But I think that is such a great option if it actually is compatible with my toothbrush. Bamboo toothbrushes are great. And again, they're one of the first zero waste swaps you'll probably see, but I just prefer my electric toothbrush. Number two is my Dove refillable deodorant. There is a love-hate relationship with this and there are some flaws with this. And when I first tried this, I noticed myself being super sensitive. However, I was shaving every day and I was not being super nice to my skin. So I gave it a try again. And honestly, I am using this every single day. I love this stuff. I've tried their sensitive skin formula and I've tried the, I think it's like the green tea and maybe cucumber and it works for me. Deodorant is such a personal thing. It's not gonna work for everyone, especially when you're going in the more natural aluminum free routes. Like. You're gonna have some trial and error, unfortunately, and there's not gonna be one that is going to work for everyone. So the one flaw I've noticed with this is that I've had the deodorant break off before. So this, I need to refill this, but the deodorant is stuck to this plastic part and the whole deodorant part just broke off of the plastic thing that holds it all together. So obviously that really sucks, especially because the refills are more expensive than just buying their deodorant packaged in plastic. But overall, again, I really love this. I love how accessible this is for most people. I get it at Target and it does the job. So number three is reusable safety razors. I feel like I've been pretty harsh about them in the past, talking about how there is a huge learning curve with them and they are harder to use. Leaf Shave is my favorite through and through and Leaf Shave overall is a lot more beginner friendly for people. They're easier to use. They work like disposable razors typically do. However, these definitely do the job and these come at a lower price point than Leaf Shave. So Leaf Shave is not gonna be affordable or accessible for everyone. So these traditional safety razors do the job and there are people that only use these and have never tried Leaf Shave and will never try Leaf Shave and they'll just stick with these. So overall, I still think these are a great option. It really is personal preference and what works best for you. Number four is wooden dish brushes that have like a wooden handle and come with a replaceable wooden brush head. I'm definitely guilty of putting these in some of my like favorite zero waste swaps videos. Sometimes I change my mind about things and I think that's normal and that's okay. But when I was moving into this current place, I was going through some of my stuff and while I was packing things to move here, I was looking at this dish brush and the handle had little metal bits that were rusted at that point and the handle just looked kind of grimy and gross. It just didn't feel clean anymore, to be honest, and I just didn't want to use it. So I got rid of it. I've been loving the full circle home dish brush, handheld kind of dish brush thing. I love it. Highly recommend it. I got it at Target, but they also sell it at Earth Hero. So I'll leave that link down below in the description. It is fantastic. And I love Swedish dish cloths. I just did a sponsored review about a company that sells some. I'm obsessed with them. I use them for dish cleaning. I use them to like scrub my countertops. I use them for so many different things. And yeah, they're just great. So that's kind of what I'm using for cleaning my dishes right now. Those kind of wooden dish brushes are something that you see again 
all over like the zero waste internet space, all over Pinterest. It worked for a while. Long term, I wasn't a fan of it. Number five is this Branch Basics Oxygen Boost, which I was gifted this as a PR product and I made a review video of it. And I will say, I might have been a little harsh in the video, but overall, like the products aren't revolutionary, right? I'd say the soap is very similar to just like Castile soap. Castile soap has a multitude of purposes. And this is kind of like a little boost to baking soda. It's not just baking soda. There's more than just baking soda in this, but it has a little bit of oomph, a little bit more power than just using baking soda. So I really like this for my laundry with my white clothing specifically and for some stains. It just really helps whiten and brighten my white clothing overall. So that's why I really like using this. Of course, because there's baking soda in it, it also helps with some odors to get odors out of clothing as well, especially like workout clothing and stuff like that. I will say this is pricey. It's not cheap, so this won't be affordable or accessible for everyone. So that's kind of the con of this, but I really do like this and it's a great non-toxic alternative to bleach. So number six is the Tushy Travel. Yes, I am next to my regular Tushy Classic Bidet here, which does the job and I swear by it. It's one of my favorite swaps I've ever tried. It's life-changing. Highly recommend that thing. But the Tushy Travel is basically like a little water bottle bidet thing. And I haven't used it in years at this point. Uh, it's definitely something that you use a lot when you travel and because I haven't been traveling at all since the pandemic started, I just I haven't used it. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm actually going to bring it with me and use it when I travel. We will see. I will let you know when I actually start traveling again, but I just haven't used it. I never want to be recommending something that you're not going to be using consistently. I don't want you to waste your money on anything. So that's something I've kind of changed my mind about. Number seven is Mascara Cake from Besame Cosmetics. And I want to start by saying this is a great product. And honestly, it's one of the best zero waste mascaras I've tried because there are a lot out there that just are not it for me. <laughs> I want something that gives me a lot of volume and a lot of the zero waste mascaras look very, very natural. And it looks like you're barely wearing mascara, which for some people is exactly what they're looking for. But for me, I want that extra oomph, <laughs> that extra volume. I don't want it to look super natural. So it's a great mascara overall, but it just isn't for me. <laughs> I am super impatient. I want something super quick. I can just pull it out of the tube, apply it, and be on my merry way and go about my day. With the mascara cake, you need patience and you need time. So it comes in like a tiny solid block and it comes in a cute little tin. You have to get the solid mascara cake a little wet on top, you brush it and then you apply it. And I just noticed for the look I was going for with mascara, I had to reapply multiple times, a lot more times than I use with a normal mascara tube and wand and yeah. I think it's a great option and I still highly recommend it if you have the time and you're patient. For me with mascara, I want that mascara on as quickly as possible. So it's just not the best for me. I have been using just like the CoverGirl clean mascara formula. The next thing I'm talking about is Girlfriend Collective. I have filmed this a few times now and I talk about it for like five minutes and that's practically half of the video length. So we're gonna get to the point. I love Girlfriend Collective. I love that they use recycled materials, specifically a lot of recycled plastics in their workout wear. And I love that they are size inclusive and I love all of the color options. A lot of sustainable companies are just neutrals and I hate that. <laughs> and I love that they're size inclusive because a lot of sustainable clothing brands are not size inclusive, which is a huge problem. So. I love what they stand for and all of that. However, I don't feel like the fit is perfect for me. Of course, with like their oversized things like sweatshirts, sweatpants, hoodies, stuff like that, they fit me fine. But sports bras and like leggings, they just don't fit me well. I am someone who typically needs like curvy style jeans and pants. And with their like leggings and bike shorts, I've just noticed they're a little bit tighter on the thighs 
but then they're like a little loose in the waist area for me. They're also very compressive and they're not as stretchy as some other leggings I'm used to. So again, that's kind of like personal preference. I really like the stretchy kind of leggings more so than compressive. So that's just a personal thing for me. And sports bras from them just don't fit me anymore. I gained weight during the pandemic and a lot of the weight went to my chest and I need something ultra supportive, like basically high impact to lock me in. And they just, they just don't work for me. They also will like fit me in kind of the band for the sports bras, but they don't fit my cups or they fit my cups, but then it's too loose in the band area. So that's just not gonna work out for me when I'm doing like high impact cardio kinds of workouts. It sucks. I love their brand and I love their company and what they stand for and all that they do overall, but I just feel like the fit isn't perfect for me. Number nine is laundry detergent pods. Now, people love these. I see influencers talk about these all the time. They're just not my favorite. I find a lot of other plastic-free, zero-waste laundry detergents have more power and work better overall. I've had times when the like wrapper around it doesn't completely dissolve in my washer and I just, I don't know. I think there are better options out there personally, but if these work for you, they work for you and keep doing you. Number 10, I'm back in my kitchen because I'm talking about reusable cutlery and reusable straws. First of all, I don't think everyone needs reusable straws. And if you're gonna get reusable straws, you have to be a straw lover and you should be using these all the time. I think a lot of us got kind of sucked into straw marketing a few years ago, but I don't think they're for everyone. Are you actually gonna get use out of it or is it gonna sit in your drawer and collect dust? The second kind of part of this is reusable cutlery. I love these. Like I use them all the time when I was out and about, when I was traveling, when I went to Disney parks, which I haven't been to since before the pandemic, I would get so much use out of these. I haven't been traveling since the pandemic started. Uh, I'm sure I will be traveling in the future here, but I just, I haven't been traveling, so I haven't been getting use out of this. And my point to all of this is, you can't make a blanket statement saying that this is a great zero waste swap for everyone. You know, it really depends on your personal lifestyle and what you're doing. I love these. I do not regret these one bit, but during the pandemic, I got no use out of them. If you had any zero waste swaps or sustainable swaps that you've changed your mind about, let me know in the comments. I am always interested to see what everyone has tried, what they like, what they don't like, what they've changed their minds about. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.